Stephen Bull and I'm on board the 2018 Boston Whaler 150 Montauk. Now this is redesigned and rebuilt, but as you can see, they've maintained those classic and famous and beautiful Montauk lines. Powering it is a 60 horsepower Mercury Marine outboard. When you're in the seated position, you have plenty of room for two people here. But for me personally, in a center console, I love standing up and driving. So, one hand you can flip the backrest forward, make it a leaning post, it can take all of my weight so it can take all of yours for sure. Now we're good to go. It cruises nicely around 20 miles per hour, and even with the low profile, this can punch above its weight in terms of waves it can handle. Our test day was on the Florida Intracoastal, and there can be some big yachts kicking up big wakes around here, but the 150 Montauk was calm, cool, and collected through anything I pushed it through. 3500 to 4000 RPM with the 60 horsepower Mercury is virtually identical in terms of maximum range, and that translates to 16 to 20 miles per hour. I happily ripped around at 20 all afternoon. And when pushed flat out, I peaked at 33.8 miles per hour. And thanks to the redesigned, sharper keel, this really bites into turns. So much so, that I was caught by surprise the first time I turned hard at speed. There's a little shake to the bimini if you go over some big waves, but no rattles, which to me is more important. If you're like me and need a break from the sun, you have the optional bimini top. Which is so simple, even someone like me, who's never used it before, can figure it out in a matter of seconds. So, let's see how it stands up while we're running. This 150 is different than the one we had out and running, but it's great to show you some of the big changes for 2018. For one, you can see the low profile stainless steel grab rails here. Now this is an option and you can actually mix and match between this and the higher profile. So you can have this all the way around, have this just at the bow or just at the stern, whatever you'd like. Second, right underneath me, it's now a single 12 gallon fuel tank as opposed to the previous model which had dual six gallon tanks. A little bit easier to fill up. Speaking of 12 gallons, the live well is the same as the previous model, but what's new on either side, you have the option for these rod holders. And also really clever, you got the cutout here, so if you have a bait bucket or anything like that, it'll nest in nice and snug. And when it's not here, plenty of room to walk around. If you get the live well, you're surely gonna be getting the fishing package, which includes a cooler with cushion seat and backrest, console mounted rod holders, and tackle drawers built into the console. Other options on the 150 include teak boarding steps, a bow cushion, which when removed reveals a good sized casting platform with anchor locker. You also have the option of a pedestal fishing seat up here as well. The helm can be plain and basic or outfitted with optional VHF radio, fusion stereo, and a 7 inch Raymarine Axiom multifunction display. With a minimum horsepower of 40, the 60 is the max rating. It's a tall order to redesign a classic, but make it feel like a modern boat. Yet, Boston Whaler's design and engineering team were able to do just that with this and its big brother, the 170 Montauk. Not bad for a 60-year-old, 